Welcome to Electron Line. Next, we have the trapezoid. The difference between the trapezoid and the parallelogram is that in the, with the parallelogram, we have two sets of opposite sides that are parallel to one another. In the case of the trapezoid, there's only one set. Here you can see that the top and the bottom, those two are parallel to one another, but the left and the right sides are not. We've labeled the top and the bottom both with B, small b for the shortest of the two sides, big B for the longest of the two sides that are parallel to one another. The other two sides, C and D, are labeled as C and D. And then we have the height right here, labeled H, which is the perpendicular distance between the two sides that are parallel to one another. To find the perimeter, what we have to do is simply sum up all four of the sides. To find the area, we take the average length of the two sides that are parallel to one another. That's done by summing them together and dividing that by two. So one half times the sum of small b plus big B, that's the average length of these two sides, and we multiply that times the height, that gives us the area of the trapezoid. Let's do an example. Here we have a trapezoid that has a small b equal to five, big b equal to nine, and height equal to four. Right away you realize that you cannot find the parameter because you were not given the two sides C and D, so the parameter will remain unknown. But we can find the area. We know that the area is equal to one half times the sum of the small and the large sides that are opposite to one another, and that are parallel to one another, I should say, times the height. So in this case, it would be one half times, here we have five plus nine, and multiply times the height, which is 4. So this becomes 1 half times 14 times 4, which is equal to 28. So that would be the area of the trapezoid. It would be in square units, whatever the units are. So that's how we deal with trapezoids. Again, depending upon what they give us, there's certain things that we can and cannot calculate. And that's how it's done.